Oh, right, all right, all right, guys, it is time for game three of this week's Slow Gas Delay at Icy Fire, where, of course, we are casting your freaking awesome replays, which means these are the peak, highest level players. Um, and when I say highest, I mean high, highest. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure most of the replays that win in Icy Fire are from people who are high as fuck. Uh, and I'm not talking about that 7k high, you know, not that Serral high. Nonetheless, down here on the left-hand side, already sending two drones across, and with a double gas, it's Santa Claus. Does pass the probe. Over here on the right-hand side, I hope you was paying attention to the fact that there's two drones coming, because this shit's about to get weird. It's... Input it! Is that a potato? No, what does potet mean? In potet. Oh. <laughs> it's a double dickhead! They're just harassing. I don't even know if he's going to do anything other than harass with these drones. I think this is purely to make and put that fucking fall apart guys this is literally just a force and overreaction they're like come and fight us come and fight us oh does deal a gas nice 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 oh run what are you doing don't don't try to 1v3 don't be a brave drone the whole point of being a successful captain dickhead is is you only fight when it's to your advantage and you just force an over response you're like oh you're gonna lose three probes mining time for my one drone get fucked he might even hatch steal so there is a spawning pool coming down um after the double gas so this is what I would describe as a fucking horrendous opening from Santa Claus. I think he's... No, he's going... <laughs> <laughs> he really wanted to burrow under the Nexus. There's no way! There's no way you're gonna get fucking a burrowed drone under the Nexus in time. This is, he's like, ah, shit. <laughs> he's on 16 drones, no natural. Oh, no. Potato is Norwegian for potato. Okay, so we've got Norwegian potato here up against Santa Claus, which, by the way, is a great name, right? Because he's got claws, but he's also Santa. <laughs> it's, it's funnier when you explain the joke, pig. That's that's usually how humor works, you fucking gronk. Uh, anyways, over here on the left-hand side, sixlings are about to come out. The probe is like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Why don't you have an expand yet? Um, Norwegian potato is a little confused. Zealot's gonna be like, don't worry, I'll guard the door. Um, dude, I'm not sure if you realize, is it? Okay, okay, he does. I was gonna say, there's a big fucking hole over there, mate. And, uh, if you've ever seen a Zerg player before, they're pretty randy. Any hole is usually a goal for most Zerg players. Now, this is what we call the perfect diagonal wall-off. It's where the buildings are placed at a diagonal, where it's almost impossible to get your Zealot in the exact right pixel-perfect position to block it off. So... Ah, oh, there is a chrono on the adapt, but if these zerglings try to squeeze past, they might be able to get in there. Now, this drone... Oh, we still got burrow, remember? And it's gonna just burrow there. He's like, hello! Now, you can burrow a drone, and then, like, your ling flood, they can't wall off for it, because you're burrowed here? I, I don't... I, I mean, Santa Claus is on 16 drones, 2 base. I don't think Santa Claus even knows what he's trying to... He's like, I'll go a bailing nest! So we're going to see like a, a fucking five minute Bane bust. This is going to be the slowest Bane bust of all time. Now, this is a crazy strat. So this this is actually the alpha move. The double dickhead. Obviously, one of the dickheads became an extractor. The other one here is, is burrowed there. Now, I feel like this is such an alpha move because he literally was like, it's pointless, right? All he does is give a bit of vision. Does nothing, essentially. He's like, I'm burrowing. But what this does is it breaks your opponent's brain. I've explained to you guys the, the theory behind my Chad's Balls build and why building a Void Ray. There's certain things you do in a matchup that no one else does, and people just go, what is he doing the thing he's not meant to be doing? And their brain fucking implodes. So notice how Norwegian Potato hasn't done any follow-up scouting, has, has scouted no expansion from the opponent, and is like, yeah, I, build it. I better just build probes and gases right now. It's like, wait, 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 wait. You have no idea what's coming. You've seen a one base Zerg, it's past four minutes, you haven't walled off or built more units? He's like, nah, it's fine. Seize the Banelings, I don't think he notices. I'm on his camera, nah, it didn't scroll over, he missed it. <laughs> the drone there does go down from the Observer, but the Ling Bane comes in! Oh, the Banelings can't get through, the Lings are gonna get on top. Santa Claus has such bad economy and production. He gets through the wall, and is still infinitely behind. There is still three gateways up. There is literally, the Norwegian potato is going to need to drop trousers so hard to lose this game. Like, I don't know how you could even manage, those two zealots, oh, great Ling Micro, actually, from Norwegian potato, uh, from Santa Claus, sorry. But there's just, I mean, there's three gate zealot production. You can't beat this with fucking one and a half hatcheries of production, right? 
I mean, the probes probably should be pulled at some point to help these zealots fight, right? But the wall should be secure. These zerglings have got to cause a lot more chaos than that. They're going to go into the middle of the mineral line. If those probes just fight, they will kill those zerglings in about half a second. Norwegian Potato, though, has coward probes. Unfortunately, I guess they didn't get the know-how to fight back and defend themselves AI patch. Zerglings are trying to headbutt in, but, I mean, surely with just one or two more warp-ins, Norwegian Potato... Norwegian Potato, the gateways are off cooldown. Why aren't we warping in? Oh, no. The Zerglings are in. Banelings morphing in the face. Norwegian Potato is not even A-moving the Zealots, so they're not even fighting. The probes and the Zealots could overwhelm this. Norwegian Potato could win with an A-move, but the probes are fighting on their own. The Zealots aren't even helping. Oh, no, the Banelings. The Banelings are going to finish. Oh, welcome to Explodey Town. And uh, those banelings do indeed splash all over. Guys in chat, we've got a few new emotes. Uh, I think there's a certain, certain... We actually do have a baneling and a town emote. Explodey Town round two! Boom! Does get two of the weakened probes. Damages the other ones. We actually do have a baneling emote still, right? Oh, we do. Cool. That's, that's an ancient... That's one of my oldest emotes that's still active. Baneling Town. Isn't that cute? Hey, it's Baneling Town. Oh, no. That's cool. I was, I was trying to remember if I still had that emote or not. So, um, thankfully for, for Norwegian Potato, Santa Claus hasn't really been hitting the injects and uh, has had the economy of a fucking... Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what you call this. What, what do we call this Zerg economy? It's like Drunken Sailor or something like that. It's like, it's the economy of a drunken sailor who's been offshore for like nine months and he's back and he is blind drunk and he's looking for just drugs and prostitutes to waste his money. Like, that's the sort of economy we're looking at from Santa Claus. Like... Fucking Bailing Bus! Let's go! It's like, let's run circles of Bailings into the choke for the 14th time in a row. Remember that Santa Claus is only allowed to mine with one worker on each gas on that, that slow gas diet. Gets in here, there's zealots and stalkers on all sides. The probes once again get stuck on the zerglings. The absolute panic and chaos from Norwegian Potato. I don't know how Santa Claus is finding any damage here. This is actually just hilarious. They don't mineral walk, doesn't know how to mineral walk the probes out of there. How do probes keep going down? There's so many units for Protoss. Yet somehow Santa Claus keeps finding the gift that keeps giving. Zerglings in your mineral line, Zerglings on your probes. Does take out that Baneling before it finishes. No more Baneling town, but Zerglings in the main base again. And remember these probes, we've seen Norwegian potatoes not really up to date on the mineral walking micro. A few Zerglings gonna hide in the corner. That was about the most obvious maneuver I've ever fucking seen in my life. But look, this one Zergling says, look at me, look at me, look at me, dickhead, dickhead, dickhead. Look at me, look at me, look at me. This Zergling is shouting, he's waving a flag, he's saying, hey dickhead, hey dickhead, hey dickhead, hey dickhead, come over here, come over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I cannot believe he's actually managed to fucking distract the opponent. You're fucking kidding me. They, it was the most, it was in his face. He just ran fallings into the corner. Oh no. Oh, oh, one goes off. Doesn't get that many hits. Good pro pull here. Norwegian Potato doing doing some stuff. Uh, and those Banelings take out a Zealot and a Probe. You know what? Not that much damage. But, but, Santa Claus is up to 33 drones. Santa Claus actually has an economic advantage. It only took killing 40 probes over eight minutes for Santa Claus to get in a position which isn't utter dog shit. I don't know, basically the drunken sailor has just gone all in, put everything on black at the casino, and has got very lucky. But remember guys, as much as he's built an advantage for himself, never it's never over till it's over. Anyone who's ever been to the casino with their, with their extremely intoxicated friend knows this, it's a scientific fact. <laughs> Until you, leave, you cash out and you leave, and you're back at home in bed safe, oh man, that, there's a good chance that money is not finding it into your bank account or, or, or being in your wallet in the next morning. And Norwegian Potato says, okay, these, this guy's actually won too much money in the Protoss Casino. He's won 40 probes. Now, he's going to try to cash out and a pack of very angry, roided up security guard zealots are going to surreptitiously try and drag him outside and uh, beat his fucking skull in uh, until he can't remember his own name. And you know what? He was drunk. He was probably just fighting some other random people. Santa Claus comes forward. He says, no, not like this. I will cash out this victory. I built an economic advantage. Let's fucking go. You know what? The Banes did scare off the Zealots. The Zealots are like, please run all your Banelings into an individual Zealot. Similar to the Zergling earlier. They're saying, fight me, fight me, fight me, you dickhead. Those two Zealots going in, they're like, Banelings! And they all blow up on them. Oh no, drunken Banelings. Drunken Banelings, no. There are spines finishing. Oh, gotta get the transfusers on them though. 
You know what? Oh, the high energy queen's getting caught out. One transfuse on the spine. The Zergling's trying to fight here. There is 20 more Zerglings about to come out. Uh, remember that Potato has not warped in, you know? Is, is on three gateways. Is going to warp three charge lots in the main. Didn't reinforce that army for a solid, like, what, two, two minutes? And, and is now bringing in more Zealots, but runs them into the spines rather than the undefended drone line. So, I mean, I, I, I think, yeah, these, these Zealot security guards uh, may have been going on a ski trip before work today. They may have been, you know, just testing the uh, the powder levels on the, the snowfields. Because uh, they're... Oh, finally, these two are going to go in. That one's a bit behind fucking Mr. Vape Nash over there with his two buddies who are actually going to get the job done, go for those drones. This is still a very close game right now. Remember that uh, Norwegian Potato did freeze up on the macro. He's now adding a ton of gateways behind this and he's going to try and make an immortal. There is already a warp prism here. Those Baneling Nest is almost going to go down the drones, make way for the Zerglings to try to clear that up. The Zealots are actually going to recall out of there. Jesus Christ, what a hot mess. Santa Claus, barely able to deal with three Zealots in the main base. This prism has just been fucking chilling in his main base for like a solid minute. There's nothing that can shoot it. Oh, yes, there is the Spore If that kills that, no. <laughs> ah, what a potato. Oh my God. A Norwegian potato, to be precise. They're known for their, their very starky uh, texture. A nice, fluffy interior. Very, very good for mashed potatoes. Um, you know, get some butter in there. Just a little bit of little bit of fried garlic. Delicious. Fantastic. Butter. A little bit of milk. I like to add a little bit of milk, personally, with that butter. Really, make sure it's warm, though. You microwave that milk before you add it to the mash. Oof. Very delicious. Now, you know what else thinks a whole bunch of zealots and immortals that can't shoot up is delicious? I think mutalisks think that. Unfortunately, Santa Claus is mining with one worker off each gas, and I mean, I'm, I'm really impressed. I, I, I thought I'd be casting a lot more replays today of people massing basic units. Instead, I keep seeing people do gas-heavy strategies, and I think it's really highlighting the just vast knowledge in the people who submit to ICFAR these days. They go, oh, it's a low-gas challenge? I'm going to go battle cruisers. I'm like, what? And they're like, I'm gonna go mutalisks. And I'm like, but you can only mine with one worker on each gas. Like, surely you should go melee upgrades. Now, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they realize it's a bad decision, but they're going for style points. I'm gonna give Santa Claus the benefit of the doubt and go, yeah, you're doing it to prove how good you are, that you can make it work, even in that scenario. I don't think it's the case. Let's be real. Santa Claus is fucking drunk, mate. Um, he's trying to get a concave of spines up. You know what? With the Banes here as well, this could work. The sentry is being warped in. Now, remember, guys, if your micro is potato level, I think warping in sentries, that seems like a really good idea, right? Watch these sentries literally do nothing. Oh, look at that. He's just hanging out in the corner there. The, the, the hentai defense looking good. The muters do fly into the main. He's on a timer. Potato needs to warp in a big round of stalkers, but he's just warped in stalkers on the front. Goes up to kill the third potato. You're going to make something happen, mate. These four mutalisks are very slowly killing your workers because it's only four mutalisks. <laughs> the Ling Bane. Why are you going down the ramp? I mean, he does get good hits on the zealots, but why wouldn't you wait for him to come up the ramp into your spine crawler, Santa Claus? I mean, his name's Santa Claus, right? He's trying to... It's the gift that keeps on giving. A Zerg player who goes and fights with only one chunk of his defense. Now, in the spirit of giving... Norway, a very kind, giving, generous people, says, I will then attack into your spine crawlers on the worst possible angle. You hand me your lings and banes, I'll hand you me entire army. Santa Claus says, okay, I'll take it. I'm actually not that into the spirit of giving. I am into the spirit of fucking winning, you piece of shit. And the muters continue to murder. At this point, Norwegian Potato may be realizing his error, going, oh, so you're saying I probably shouldn't have gifted me army and maybe should have properly defended and or committed very hard to the attack initially rather than umming and ahhing. That war prism getting damaged, but Santa Claus is still dancing around. Five muters is the magic count, by the way. You kill one of those and they can no longer one-shot probes, but right now, Santa Claus finds the damage, holds on, and look at this preparation for the base trade. Corner base there, corner base there, and a lot of Zerglings coming out as well. The upgrades, it's just charge versus nothing. Uh, with no Phoenix on the way or anything like that. 36 probes versus 45 drones, 2,300 minerals in the bank. It looks like Santa Claus is on the victory path right here, right now. The mute is going to fight the stalkers. No, they say, nah, that scares me. Ah. The observer's trying to see them. The whole army just fucking one a around all over the place. And uh, you know what? We're going to make Mauling Bane. And if it didn't work before, 
it'll work again. Now, let's see. Do you guys think Santa Claus attacks into the exposed third? Or once again, headbutts the exact same choke point that was, what, eight, eight or nine minutes of headbutting into for the entire fucking early game? I think he goes for the natural again, you know? I feel like he's, he's, he's just got a mode, you know? He's like, we're going for the same... Oh, he didn't get a chance! Oh, Norwegian Potato's like... I've been chasing my tail with these mutalisks for, for the last two minutes. I'm, I'm fucking done. I get it. I get it. You're in a pretty messy position. No blink, no phoenix. The muters are just fucking dancing. They're going, ha. Ah. There's only so, so, he does attack the natural. I told you guys. There's only so much time um, you can handle being, being the fat kid. You know how there was always that, that little kid who thought to make up for being little, he had to tease the fat kid right so we'd like oh you're so slow you fatty and he'd like fucking you know flick him in the back of the head and run away and shit like that you try to like you know get points for like picking on the fat kid i, I think that was santa claus in this game you know the stalkers are like get back here and they're trying to you know and, and if the stalkers do lay hands on the mutalisks they'll fuck him up right we've all seen those bullied kid gets revenge videos and we all get a fucking justice boner when we watch that on youtube well Unfortunately, the Justice Boner didn't happen. Norwegian Potato was like, I'm hoping he stops microing the muters. At some point, my stalkers are going to body slam them into the ground. At some point, at some point, didn't happen. Was like, I'm fucking done with this. Uh, and does end up tapping out of the game. GG's. Santa Claus here is like, I'm going to kill every building. <sighs> Probably tried this strategy like 16 times. And this was the only game that, that Santa Claus actually won, right? So you got to you got to get your get your pleasure somehow he's like oh, i finally won kill every fucking building and he's like mm. uh thank you for that replay santa claus uh norwegian potato thank you for fighting there in an action-packed game having your probes slaughtered by ling bane non-stop uh gg well played mates thank you for that replay